Hey, what's up everybody? This is DJ Axis with CGP DJs with a quick video tutorial on how to use the Easy Remote app with my DMX 2.0. Quick disclaimer before I start, uh, in order for this app to work correctly, you do need to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi connection between your laptop and your iPad or whatever two devices you're running the software and um, application from. So before you get to your gig, make sure you have internet access. That way you can log on both of your devices or if you want to get around that and you, you don't have internet access at your gig, if you have a smartphone, you can share your internet connection with your devices and uh, log them both in to the same address. So if you don't have internet connection, this app will not work correctly for you. You'll get an error message or uh, not necessarily an error message, but your MyDMX controller will not show up once you open up the app. So with that said, let's get started. As you can see here, I opened up the app and uh, this is the message I was telling you about. If you're not connected to the same uh, internet connection, it'll say no controller available. But since I have both of my devices connected to the same network, all I have to do is hit refresh. And voila, the MyDMX 2.0 controller shows up with the IP address that you're using. Once you get there, all you do is click it and you'll get a blank screen. Don't panic. That's perfectly fine. What you want to do is go over here on the lock symbol, click on that, and then that's where you'll get your panel. This is your the arrows, your go back key, the disk is to save whatever progress you made, the folder is to open up any saved programming that you already uh, program, and the brush is basically just the tools that you have to use. So this is where you just click on stuff, in this case, we're just going to do a couple buttons, two, three, four. So I clicked it four times, and as you can see, there's only one. That's fine because they're hidden uh, underneath each other. What you do is click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. And that should be the last of it. Yep. So we'll add one more. One right there. So there you go. Uh, if you already know what... Um, if you did all your scenes already, in this case, we'll program some um, basic color changes. If you already did that inside my DMX 2.0, then you can go ahead and pre-label your buttons. Makes it easier. And uh, the way you do this is by clicking the little pencil and entering text. So in this case, let's start off with the red. Enter. That says red. And then we move on to our next one. Let's do a blue, enter, and then let's do a green, enter, and then let's do a, a yellow, enter, and then the way I line these up, I have them in a row, they're off balance, but you can move them around however you want, the last one, We'll design this one for a blackout. So hit enter and hit blackout, label it, enter, and then now you're done. So now you have red, blue, green, yellow, and blackout. So once you're done setting up your buttons and labeling them, make sure to lock it. Panel disappears, and now you're ready to uh, mini map between uh, my DMX 2.0 and the easy remote app. So what you do in my DMX you go to the scenes that you already created this is my setup uh, so let's mini map the blackout you right click learn easy remote command click it once it's gonna wait for a command go back to your device and hit the blackout button it'll receive the command it'll go away and now it's mini map so the same goes for um, the rest of them just go to your scene Learn easy remote. Hit the red. Let's program. Let's move on to our blue. Right click. Learn easy remote. Back to your device. Hit blue. The green one. Learn. Click. And let's do our yellows. Learn easy remote. And yellow. 
So now we've mini mapped um, red, blue, green, and yellow on the Easy Remote app, and now they'll communicate with my DMX. So as you can see, we'll go over, we'll hit the red button, and all our lights should turn in red. I don't have any lights connected right now, but as you can see on screen, uh, everything changed. And then blue, green, yellow, and blackout. It's really easy. You could assign any of these buttons to whatever you've created uh, on your scenes. And then the other way I use it is we'll go back to our locking it. And we'll scroll down. And this adds another page. We'll click it. Give me a second. So once you click on that, this was your original page. These dots indicate how many pages you clicked on. I actually clicked it quite a few times that you can see. So what you do from there is just literally focus, swipe to your next page. And as you can see, the little dot skipped over to the next uh, available dot on top. So um, the way I, I, I like doing it. I like having my buttons to switch between my color scenes and if I need control say our moving heads or I want to do programming with their moving heads what I uh, use this a lot with uh, it comes into play when we're spotlighting something so we have our moving heads and in this case I'll add a couple sliders so one two three four five we'll add five sliders we'll move them around so now what happens with this I can label them as well uh, so this could be my pan my tilt uh, my focus and my intensity and whatnot on our pan and spot 5 hours that we use so basically what you do is on my DMX you'll find your fixture and the easier way to do it, instead of scrolling left to right and trying to find it there you can just go to your editor. Um, set up here, and then find them. So that's our design bricks, OptiPars, Plan and Spot, Plan and Beans. Okay. So you click on your Plan and Spot, and you can see down here, it'll show you all the values of the sliders. So then you can just go back to the live area, and it's still there. So basically, it's just the same thing as the buttons. All you do is you right click, you learn the easy remote command, and then in order for it to work, make sure you have to lock it. If not, it won't receive the command. And then you touch the button. So let's do this again. We'll show you here. We'll right click. Our easy remote command, quarter our button, click it, and now we have control of that button. Let's see here. Now, uh, the sliders do work in a different way. Right here, they're an auto. So if you want to uh, control them individually, you'll have to go up to your user options. And as you can see, there's different parameters: LTP and high TP. Um, I can't, don't remember what that exactly means, but you can find it inside uh, the MyDMX 2.0 uh, user manual, and it'll tell you what the LTP and the high TP stands for. So basically, uh, they override whatever you've programmed. So that way when you want to control your sliders through the software, you want to move right now it's in auto. So if you move up and down, it won't move because it's in auto. You need to enable it down here. And depending on the mode, either LTP or HTP. 
and then you'll be able to move the slider as you can see there you'll able you're able to move it up and down and control it now if you need more playing room you can always just drag up the screen my DMX and it has a plain room of the slider so you can see here I'm moving the slider just make sure you have it in the correct mode for it to work correctly if it's an auto it won't work it won't respond to your MIDI command And there you go. That's how um, you set up the MIDI control on uh, my DMX 2.0 using the Easy Remote app. Uh, you do have other features from sliders to color palettes um, to X and Y movements. So there's tons that you can program on here. It's to your liking and like I said you have your pages so you can have a page just with sliders, a page just with buttons, colors, X, Y. It's totally up to you. It's pretty awesome. And that's basically how you use the Easy Remote app with my DMX 2.0. Uh, you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, comment below the video and I'll do my best to answer them. Or if you want me to make any other videos uh, with this app in my DMX 2.0, go ahead and let me know what you'd be interested in watching and I'd be glad to make them for you. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Later.